by the straight saw oh, and the low buzz saw. Oh, how tilting is it when you stand up too early and you're just oh, like, why did I yes. get hit by that? And also, also when you uh, when you stand up <laughs> after the buzz saw hits you before, like it hits you behind, it's pretty active. So I actually got hit by it a few times, which kind of is kind of uh, pretty crazy. It, it's tilting, man. Yes. That, that's the easiest way that I could describe it. It is tilting. But hold on, <laughs> here we go. We got the Johnny Cage main extraordinaire rocking the sunglasses inside for some reason. All, all I'm asking for. Okay, we don't want to. This is intros. Got a better suggestion, Cage? From now on, you're Carlos. Round From one. now on, you're Fight. Carlos. <laughs> Does he call him Carlos with the with the uh, announcer voice on? We gotta we gotta select Cabal and see if he calls him Carlos. Yes. Great little uh, conversion there by Mike Metroid. Just kind of poking at King Raj there as King Raj not blocking, not watching his feet, which really is with the opening that Johnny Cage has been looking for since Mortal Kombat X. I, I, mean, I like the tech from uh, Mike Metroid there. He's playing he's playing very good. Nice spacing. He's walking back. That's how you're supposed to play. But eventually you have to get in. You don't want to get zoned out by by uh, B Street Cabal. And it's really it's really easy to get zoned out. Oh, Mike Metroid flinching there, flinching. But I feel like he just didn't want to commit to the yes. jump in. I like that down two uh, down two check. Very 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 godlike. It's jump three. Okay. Now what's the mix? And in this situation, we don't know. We don't know. Because because. King Rush can come back in this situation. He we can. seen it. We seen it from the la from the last set. Yes, we did see it against Lord Brady as King Raj getting that fatal blow, the first hit of that momentum. But Mike Metroid shutting that idea down right in its tracks as he takes this first round here in the top eight. Uh oh, I don't like that raw uh, <laughs> split. Uh, kick. I don't. Yeah, shadow kick. I don't like that raw shadow kick. It was probably an input error, but you don't want to. Start off your pressure going in, doing that unsafe move, you know? It's like, it's, not, mean, it's it, not good. If it works, I think it's good. But even when it doesn't work, I feel like it's good in the sense where, like, you get your opponent to think, all right, this guy is yes. is nuts. So this guy is wacko. He's yes. willing to do a shadow kick. I better be on my toes and ready for it. And right, and right when that happens, that's when Johnny Cage can go in with those buttons or go in with the throw. Yes, and in this top eight, we have good phenomenal players. You don't want to play very unorthodox like that. But King Raj capitalizing with a back one, two, anti-air. A punish, but no commitment here by Mike Metrid. I feel like he just didn't believe he was going to get there in time and just trying to apply some stagger pressure here. Okay, nice anti-air from the force ball. And hits him with the plus six, but he sent full screen and... Mike Metro is getting in, and I like the wave dashes he's establishing in there. Nice back two entire. Double hitting back two, and he capitalized. Oh, and the fatal blow hits from full screen. Cabal's just a little too fast for those force balls. Cashing in on this damage, and we've seen what this can do before. This is the start of a momentum shift right here for Carlos, a.k.a. Cabal. <laughs> Just chucking those fireballs here. Oh, a oh, little win. nice grab! And this is what we've seen. And this was, this is what I might have predicted. This is what might have prophecy have predicted. I'm so sorry, but he, King Rosh can come back just like the last set from Brady. So we don't know what could happen here. Oh, this! Look at this. I think it's, yeah, that's definitely so, gonna be enough. So okay, so Mike Metroid did four three shadow kick. So he must have uh, messed up with a, with. Uh, the uh, fatal blow cancel? Yes, yes, yes. So that must have cost him an input error, and King Raj paid attention. <laughs> paid attention. <laughs> and he capitalized it by doing a grab, so. And that's what it is, man. Sometimes when you're unsure of some situations, like you're like unsure, like, oh, is this going to punish or is it not going to punish? Going for a throw might not be a bad option, especially if you have the opportunity to turn the tables. And oh my god, oh, guys, we're, we're going playing all on the way. main stage. We're playing all the way to top eight this morning at Celtic Throwdown. Yes, the Shout winner of this match is going to be fighting Rewind, who won <laughs> Celtic Throwdown for the Celtic Throwdown title. Just kidding. Not no, really no, this is, this is, this is uh, what is this, Losers? Losers Finals? They, they, have, to, they have to play uh, Sonic Fox. No, just, just this match. Just this match here. Big shout outs to Rewind for that win earlier today at Celtic Throwdown. Good combo here from Mike Metroid, keeping him in the corner. And okay, Rod, and he capitalizes on the punish on it. It's tough, man. It is tough. And right okay. now, Raj. Nice down, too. Nice. Okay, so he definitely Mike Metro is paying attention with every corner shenanigan that Round King Raj is definitely four. doing. He's waking up, waking up, uh, waking up, not waking up, throw. Definitely could be the <laughs> option, but waking up, jump, jump three. And between the jump three, he definitely hit him with an on hit. And nice breakaway. Okay. 
And King Raj hitting him with the forward 2-2 Nomad Dash. Interesting. Okay. Nice block. Every every Cabal player does 4-2-2-4 four, two, two, uh, four and immediately hits down one after. I mean, exactly. those are great mids, and especially when you think that something else is coming, you try to react to the stagger, and instead you're going to eat some plus frames after the down one. So I don't think it's a bad strategy. Oh, definitely. And, and, and neither does King Raj as he does take that round here. Uh, trying to solidify this lead over Mike Metro. And that jumping, you cannot anti-air Cabal. Like, I, one of this, one of these characters, Gears, Cabal, uh, Baraka, Jackie, those are those characters you have to worry about in the corner. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Jumping-wise. Oh, oh, the jumping punch, and Mike oh, Metro's been doing God. such a great job of it. We saw it yesterday against Noob Saibot, against Broski. And right oh, now he's not punished the up two. That is a tough up two to punish. Not yes. the easiest thing to do, but Mike Metro at least ready to take his turn back as King Raj blocking for his life and fighting out here with that tricky low instead of going for the overhead. Nice. Oh, did not capitalize on the, on the whiff punish. Oh, oh there's, all, there, there, there's a lot of a lot of failed commitments, but did we just finally see one commitment there. Nice oh, tech. Yeah, beautiful tech throw there. Reactions of Mike Metroid right with the air to air. Looking for the anti-air, oh, but that Cabal jumping jump kick. three. That Cabal jumping and kick is so you, impressive. And it's like basically plus. That's how, that's how you're supposed to play <laughs> a Cabal. Well, see, that's the thing is if the first one hits, it might as well hit the again. second one. <laughs> because you're at such a frame advantage that like you won't, your normal will not come out fast enough to anti-air the second one coming out. So then if they block it, yes. then you can chill and out. And it throws you off on it throws you off tilt because <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna miss time you're out three or wake up then you gotta hold up four two back one and it's it's a whole it holds room for, for tilt territory oh yeah absolutely absolutely and you know and what in that specific timing there you know the up twos in this game even though they are as uh, intended to be used as anti-airs they have no invulnerable frames whatsoever so if you time it just right you can stuff easily some up twos with jump and kicks Okay, this is this is looking pretty, very dominant for Mike Metroid in this round. And, and uh, you know, th this is really where he shines is when he gets Raj up against the corner. But Raj is doing such a good job of fighting his way out. And right now, Mike Metroid is he, all over Mike him. Mike Metroid, oh my gosh, he's like he's channeling the energy from from Lord Combat. That's right. That's right. Shout out, shout out to shout out to Noble Combat, one yes. of the best Johnnies ever in this world. That, 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 that is true. That is definitely true. Combat, an incredible, incredible player, but unfortunately not here at Summer Jam this weekend. So let's focus on the players that did show up and the players that did make it out here playing for your entertainment right now. A oh, big nice down of two in that situation. I would, everybody could have got hit by jump three, but pay attention. Pay attention. Gets hit by the plus six, down one guaranteed. But uh oh, uh -oh. This makes a down one whiff out of, the, out of the back one. This is where it could all go to hell in a hand basket here. The fatal blow not going to be enough to kill Rob, but if Raj finds the opening here, he can go into it. But now Mike Metroid in dangerous didn't, territory. He didn't amplify the force ball. Oh, look at oh, the, the grow. Oh, oh no. Oh, really? What you? Oh, the down oh, two! Oh, the down two! The wake up down two! That's all you need. Keeping it classic here. <laughs> Tossing the sunglasses. Uh, he, I'm saying, is he gonna? He's not gonna do it right now, though. Right in front of like King Raj's face. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you 100%. Since Mike Metroid is shaking his head no, that was definitely a fatal right. attempt. Now, someone in the chat, if you guys know the fatal input for Johnny Cage and why those sunglasses came out, you could shed some light on it for us at home because I don't know those inputs. Yeah. But I feel like Mike Metroid, because we saw him do it against Broski yesterday, first game, yes. first game fatals. Shout out to Rio, the pioneer of that. Okay, four, four, three, four, three, one, four, three, four, four. Great jump in punch here from Cabal. Okay. Gonna use those hook swords to add a little bit more damage here. Looking for some kind of whiff, and Mike Metroid not giving it to him. Gonna capitalize, leave him in a standing position. Great blocks by Raj. He's trying to get away so desperately. And, and he's capitalizing the on the on the camera, the, the 360 Nikon camera. That's it, man. That is it. Mike Metroid looking to tie this up. He's one round away from going into a game five situation here in the top eight on the loser side. So let's see, let's see what Mike Metro is going to do in this situation. But you don't want to whiff a normal in that situation against Cabal. He will capitalize on everything. He's getting jumped in in this situation right he, now. 
but looking like Cabal is getting the spins right now. Speaking of the spins, he's blocking two of those spins. <laughs> Great little duck here okay. from Mike Metroid, avoiding the throw, trying to take his turn back after those did low it, pokes. Did it capitalize on the, on the after the 4-3-1-1, four, 4-3-4-4? Four, three, four, three, one, one, four, four, four. Can we talk about how that was three jumping kicks in a row? But hold yes. on, the oh. side switch from Mike Metroid. Got to capitalize here. Doesn't have the nut punch in this variation. Obviously. Oh, he whiffs. He whiffs the he whiffs the one two four, and cap, uh, capitalized on the full double punish. Forward two two four. Raj oh, mash. It nice and uses clean. it last breath. Capitalizes on everything. And I believe there was no gap there. Uh, usually the gap comes out when you amplify it, but you know either way, Raj had a lot of life to work with. So. Not a bad call as he does stay alive here in this game. Number four, getting the Nomad Dash, gonna flip him over to the other side, keep the corner positioning, and buying himself all this real estate. Never mind, going in right into okay, plus Look six. At oh, he tried to anti air, but the jump three prevented him from getting that anti air, which is very, very, like, very risky. Uh, you cannot anti air. Come on, those situations. It's very, very hard. Now, I love this tactic here from Raj. Again, the jump and kicks doing so much work for him. If it hits, he commits to another one because he's looking to stuff out. Oh, anti -air. back two, back two, back two. Standing two, standing two, standing two. Now, what's the mix up? Looking for something okay. here. Gets the hey, low poke. Gets hit. Oh, but messes up the cancel. And that might be all she wrote. Mike Metroid in a world of hurt here on life support. Oh, no. And I believe he King messes Rock up the cancel. Oh, no. There was a lot of messes up. Huge, huge execution errors here from King, Mike Metroid. And King Raj, he played, he played very good. He had the composure. Uh, just like judging by his body language, from how I'm looking at him, he didn't shake at all. But looking at Mike Metroid, he was uh, 